Welcome to Miles of Music. I'm Bob Miles. I'm here with the great guitarist, Tom Doyle. Tom? Hi, Bob. How are you? I'm doing great. How Terrific. are you doing? Did just great. I yeah. uh, had a little trouble getting here, but I finally <laughs> got here. We're uh, a little bit behind, but uh, we're, we're very happy to be here and, and enjoying the show with you. I have faith in you, so I knew oh, you would I'm make it. you do. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would make it. Good. Uh, let's play something for the audience. Uh, a little bit of something? All right, I'll just do a little bit of Sunny Side of the Street. How about that, okay? Great. got through it. Oh, it was great. I heard no mistakes. <laughs> well, they were in there, but that's all right. <laughs> it was great. Uh, when I hear that, you sound like a piano player, stride piano right, type. Right, very yeah. true. Actually, um, I listened to many pianists uh, play, and uh, Art Tatum was one, and uh, of course Fats Waller, and uh, people like that really impressed me, and uh, really I learned a lot from keyboard players, as many guitar players and keyboard players together, but Generally, trumpet players and singers too. Ooh, I learned a lot. Really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Phrasing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't hear a lot of this type of guitar today at all. Well, I, I think basically uh, w there was a country style involved in this too, and the country part of it is really uh, Chet Atkins and Merle Travis who really brought it to the forefront. There were guitar players before them that did it too, but generally they, they came up with the style, uh, which is your fingers playing with the bass and counter. Uh, melodies and harmonies going on with it. But it's a very chordally uh, structured type of playing, so you're playing with all kinds of chords. I later on realized that working with uh, my mentor, Les Paul, that um, I should really learn a lot more about that type of playing with chords because his music was so strong and I, I would listen to how he put things together arrangement-wise. And that's where I started using inside chords and using this style of inside chords. And if people are not familiar with inside chords, we're just talking about instead of. So, so you're talking about the middle strings. Exactly right. Okay. The baritone part of the guitar. Okay. So uh, basically, uh, using that, you can come up with wonderful intros to things. And richness. Now, there's a lot, there's more happening, I think, with the right hand, right? Uh, there's, more, there's more than it actually you can see. We're using the thumb, the first finger, second, third, and sometimes the, the, uh, the fifth finger, which really is playing bass, lead, melody, and harmony together, and sometimes harmonics with the, the fifth finger also. So you're really using the, the full extent of your right hand, okay. and it gives you the, the ability to do uh, just uh, beautiful intros and and things that you would not normally be able to get with a pick, although you can do wonderful things with a pick, no question about that. But the, today, people have now started taking a pick and holding it with that hand and started playing with their fingers much more than they had in the past. And that's really what this is. This is a derived style of yeah. putting all those fingers coming from the classical world and putting it to more of a pop. Okay. Okay. Did you study at all? Uh, somewhat, not, not really in the way that we would go to universities because there was nobody was teaching this anyway. Mm. Uh, but you figure 45, 45 years now I've been playing, and 
uh, uh, just a school of listening is the one that I went to, you know, yeah. just listen to everybody. Right, right. And, uh, and that's really where it really comes from. It's yeah. just uh, how do you put these things together harmonically? And uh, I think that my enjoyment is that every day I'm learning something like everybody else on the guitar. Okay. So uh, anyway, that's really yeah. the the inception of how I play it like this. Okay. Now, if I were to learn this style, mm -hmm. and I took a song, whatever song, you can name the song. Right. Uh, okay. How would I pr approach it? First, take the chords. I would say that was the first thing. The hard part really is finding the the lead and melody notes within those chords, and there are certain things that lend themselves well, and there's some that don't. I mean, some of these things are very very difficult. But uh, I, even the things that look simple are difficult. <laughs> but uh, not to make excuses, but if you took a song, you had mentioned a song earlier on about uh, uh, You Came to Me From Out of Nowhere, which is a standard jazz song. Uh, wait, if you do that in the key of G, it's relatively simple to play it. So I will give you an idea. We're just going to take that form. But we do use the thumb. We wrap the thumb around lots of times, which was a no-no many years right. ago. I'll Never used thumbs like right. that before. But it's the only way we can get moving bass lines that are back and forth this way is to use that thumb. I don't know how else you're going to be able to do it. Right. So this was now accepted. It's now uh, part <laughs> of the game, you know. But uh, if you just did uh, the intro to it. 